बी रेडी टेन सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट सर आई फाइंड फ्रॉम द डेलीबरेशन्स दैट दिस इज अ लॉन्ग स्ट्रगल गोइंग ऑन बिटवीन द प्रमोटीज एंड द डायरेक्ट रिक्रूट्स फॉर द लास्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स एंड द लिटिगेशन इज गोइंग ऑन फॉर द लास्ट ट्वेल्व ईयर्स सर आई डू नॉट विश टू ब्लेम द प्रेजेंट गवर्नमेंट फॉर दिस सॉरी स्टेट ऑफ अफेयर्स बिकॉज दिस इज अ लीगसी दैट द प्रेजेंट गवर्नमेंट हैज इनहेरिटेड सर द स्ट्रगल हैज स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम नाइनटीन नाइन्टी नाइन I do not know much about the working of the central government departments but so far as the state governments are concerned every department under a state government has got cadre and recruitment rules I do not know whether this department under the finance ministry had any cadre and recruitment rules i am raising this specific question because just now the honorable minister has stated in his statement that he had to prepare the seniority rules in pursuance of the decision received from the supreme court that means that they had no seniority rules at all and they had no cadre and recruitment rules at all when for the first time the direct recruitment took place in the year 1999 so i want to know whether there were any cadre and recruitment rules before the direct recruitment took place in the year 1999 why i am putting this question is because i had an occasion to hear both the sides direct recruits say that according to the cadre and recruitment rules their quota in the first instance was fixed at 80% so far as recruitment to the posts of assistant commissioners was concerned and 20% was provided for promotees and that later on it was diluted from 80% to 66 to by 3% and again subsequently it was diluted to 60% so i want to know whether there were any cadre and recruitment rules and if there were any cadre and recruitment rules whether promotions were strictly made in accordance with the cadre and recruitment rules if so this situation would not have arisen at all but unfortunately from the very beginning from the inception promotions were given on an ad hoc basis and till this day promotions are being made only on an ad hoc basis i want to point out this irregularity to the house sir the honorable minister has said that they are acting strictly in accordance with the directions received from the supreme court and that they have prepared a seniority list which has been accepted by the supreme court but this morning somebody told me that the promotees are dissatisfied with the seniority list prepared by the government of india and submitted to the supreme court that they have again approached the supreme court with a review petition and that the 
review petition has been admitted if a review petition has been admitted and if government were to receive orders and directions from the supreme court every now and then i do not think sir that for another 10 years this matter is going to be settled every time the government will come before the house and say that these are the directions of the supreme court they have to act as per the directions of the court and all that then i am told sir that promotion from class first post of income tax officer to the post of assistant commissioner 10 years service rule is there that means that one has to put in 10 years service as income tax officer class first otherwise he will not be eligible for promotion if such a thing is there then i want to know how they are going to prepare or refix the seniority do they intend to change the service rules or do they intend to change the 10 years condition what is the policy with regard to this so far as i am concerned i am going to make it very clear that this is not going to end like this the litigation will go on it will continue the government may seek the opinion of the law ministry or seek the opinion of the attorney general but the struggle between the promotees and direct recruits will go on like this unending that is why my suggestion is that the minister concerned should take personal interest in this matter discuss with the representatives of both the direct recruits and promotees and thrash out this problem if it is not possible for him to thrash out this problem it is better to prevail upon them at least to agree to refer the matter to arbitration nominating one from the direct recruits one from the promotees and one from the government of india by taking an undertaking from all the parties concerned that whatever be the award of the arbitration it will be final and binding on all the parties i want to know whether the government is prepared to look into this stop